Then the really good thing happened, which was the lab burned down. <laughs> and this is a picture that Tony took of the lab the day after it had burned down, or rather the morning after it had burned down. And it was a pretty hot fire, and it destroyed absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. And it was a brilliant move, because actually everything was a bit rusty by this time. And um, we were, and we were, we were stuck. We didn't really couldn't weren't making any headway. Fortunately, the two graduate students had just graduated, so their theses did not go up in smoke. Uh, and what happened was that we had to move and find a new lab, and the new lab was right opposite the famous Laboratory of Molecular Biology in Cambridge. And Max Perutz was unbelievably generous. To, we could use his stores, which was fantastic. They were wonderful stores, much better than our biochemistry department stores. And we could also, more importantly, uh, have lunch in the famous LMB canteen run by Mrs. Perutz. And I think partly because of that and being exposed to really great uh, scientists and partly because all the data was destroyed, so it was sort of, you know, we just had to go back to square one. We actually solved the problem uh, remarkably, uh, remarkably quickly.